In a historic move, President Obama has lifted an arms embargo on Vietnam. The president announced the move overnight at a meeting with Vietnam's president in Hanoi. The embargo has been in effect since the Vietnam War. The two leaders put on a show of solidarity in the face of growing tension with China. Margaret Brennan is traveling with the president in Hanoi. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. President Obama is here to build stronger economic and security ties with Vietnam. That decision to lift the arms embargo is aimed at sending a message to China that the U.S. will not let it militarily dominate Asia. With a warm welcome from Vietnam's communist government, President Obama tried to put to rest the ghosts of the brutal war with the U.S. that killed tens of thousands of people from both countries. Just a generation ago, we were adversaries and now we are friends. Uh, should give us hope. The Vietnamese are eager to build ties with their Cold War era foe in large part because of the threat posed by a militarily aggressive China, which is seizing territory in both the East and South China Seas. In an effort to stop that land grab, President Obama made the decision to sell Vietnam American-made weapons, removing a ban that's been in place for over four decades. A controversial decision since Vietnam is controlled by an authoritarian regime. But this change will ensure that Vietnam has access to the equipment it needs to defend itself and removes a lingering vestige of the Cold War. In exchange, Vietnam will give U.S. ships more access to its ports. Mr. Obama's next stop on the trip will be to another former enemy, Japan. He'll make a historic trip to the city of Hiroshima, the first sitting president to do so. That city was decimated in 1945 when the U.S. dropped the very first atomic bomb during World War II. More than 100,000 died. President Obama told Japanese television that he will not apologize. Because I think that uh, it's important uh, to recognize that uh, in the midst of war, uh, leaders make all kinds of decisions. Now, the White House says the president will not revisit the decision to drop the bomb, but he will say, Nora, that it gives America the unique responsibility of making sure that a nuclear weapon is never used again. All right, Margaret Brennan in Hanoi, thank you so much.